So patients with type 2 diabetes often don't have any symptoms and they're diagnosed on routine blood testing. Type 2 diabetes is diagnosed when your blood sugar is elevated. Doctors can assess your blood sugar in a number of different ways. There are a few diagnostic criteria that we keep in mind when diagnosing type 2 diabetes. One is a fasting plasma sugar, or fasting blood sugar. That's done on routine blood test, and if that number is equal to or greater than 126, on one or more occasions, then that goes along with type 2 diabetes. One test is a hemoglobin A1C. This test measures your average blood sugar of the preceding two to three months. If this number is higher than 6.5, it's consistent with type 2 diabetes. They may ask you to do a glucose tolerance test where they will measure your fasting blood sugar and then ask you to drink 75 grams of glucose and remeasure your glucose two hours later. If that glucose two hours later exceeds um, 200, that's also consistent with a diagnosis of diabetes. The American Diabetes Association recommends that um, all patients over the age of 45 are screened for type 2 diabetes. And if that screening is normal, then they should be screened at least every three years for diabetes. Patients who have risk factors for diabetes should be tested earlier and um, more frequently to make sure that they haven't uh, developed type 2 diabetes. So the earlier that you find out, the earlier you're able to work with your full team in order to manage the disease and make sure your blood sugars always maintain at a steady level so that you don't progress to an advanced state.